Hello everyone, it's November 6, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is The Schmuck Look. I'm going to try today to attach this to cspanjunkie.org. Ralph Nader calling Obama a war criminal. Uh, first off, I want to say President-elect Obama is not yet and was never called a war criminal and slash or an Uncle Tom as was reported in several places yesterday. Ralph Nader asked if he was going to become a corporate Uncle Tom and yeah the phrase is not politically correct but it was a valid question. Will he be a toady for the corporations? Uh, my best guess right now would be sure I mean impeachment is off the table getting out of Iraq and Afghanistan is off the table health care you know one payer single payer health care off the table now it just seems odd to me all the things the corporations don't want we're not getting. Now, I want to know how much did Boeing give the Republican Party and the Democratic Party? How much did Grumman give? How much did oh AIG? Uh, let's talk about the Wall Street bailout which most Americans were by far by far people against and we did it, or they did it anyway, because, oh, we've got to get, you know, the credit moving again, because if people aren't buying on credit, these guys sitting behind desks collecting the interest on that credit, well, they won't contribute anymore, and we can't buy advertising. I, I have a real, and I've asked this before, it's a real serious question. Why would you spend hundreds of millions of dollars <clears throat> for a job that pays $400,000 a year? Where did you get the money and who do you owe? You see, that's the whole problem here, the corporatization of American politics. And I would recommend all of you who watch this to go if this attaches to go to that and watch that entire 10 minutes and 29 seconds talking to Ralph Nader there was a question by a British man and it's a valid question it really really is you know to the rest of the world it seems like the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are just two sides of the same party hmm now where did you hear that before as macho man Randy Savage would say Oh, yeah! It was here. I've been saying that for a long, long time. You want to straighten the mess we're in out? Ban corporate sponsorship of any political race. Ban political advertising. Make the reporters actually report. Make the candidates actually answer questions. Come up with those fast answers that are unscripted to our questions instead of softball questions or hardball questions take your choice because none of them are really hardball and you never ever hear a candidate say no it's always couched carefully phrased carefully so well we don't want to really inflame anybody we don't really want to insult anybody well, sometimes they do, but get rid of that corporate sponsorship of the political system because the corporation, whoever it is, is only buying influence and access. It's why they donate to both major parties. It's why candidates like me, third party independent write-in candidates, well, you know, hey, I don't stand much of a chance of ever getting elected but it's still a fight worth fighting and I'm fighting it for us see I'm not taking any donations from anyone period and the corporation the corporate world really 
is terrified of a lot of candidates standing up and doing just that. Why, they won't be able to educate us. They won't be able to walk in the door and say, hey now, and that's the way it should be. You know, the corporation, any corporation, is a legal in the eyes of the law, it has get, been given personhood. It's a legal person. But whip out a stethoscope and find a heartbeat, find a pulse. You got a lot of them from the workers, but I'll bet the corporation itself, and I'll bet big money I don't have, the corporation itself has no pulse, and it has no allegiance to our country it has allegiance only to itself. If it was really interested in your success, our success, why it would be moving those jobs back here instead of shipping them over wherever. And I'm not against those people working either. But what I am against is saying, oh, we're doing this for you when you're not, you, the corporate world, you're not doing it for anybody but yourselves. You're interested solely in your success. And yes, the corporate world's business is business. To keep in business, you must make a profit. You don't have to do it on our lives with our lives. And that's what we're doing in the Mideast. We're not there protecting American interests. We're there protecting business interests. Multinational, multi-conglomerate interests and they don't care about you me they don't care about us all they care about is that profit margin and they don't care whose lives they have to waste to get it oh if it was so good to be there in such a wonderful wonderful thing why you'd see their children and grandchildren lining up to enlist but you don't. Why, that's just for other folks. People who haven't been ordained, benighted, whatever you want to call it. Because the corporate world doesn't recognize anything but the corporate world. And I'm not trying to paint them as bad guys as such. It's just they've painted themselves that way. Now, Ralph Nader and I don't always agree. In fact, there's a lot of disagreements, but on this one, he was absolutely right. And you and I really need to stop, look around. My suggestion, every election, vote out those who are in, write in, vote in your independent candidates, your, your third-party candidates, because once we make it too expensive for the corporate world to re-educate everyone all the time, you know what? They'll stop. Because, hey, there's no money in it. Oh my goodness. Why, well, we'll just have to be like everybody else. You want to really make a change, ban corporate advertising for corporate sponsorship for political races, ban political advertising. Again, you make the reporters do their jobs, and you make everybody do their jobs. Get rid of the money, the bad things go away. <laughs> it's a simple deal. Follow the dollar, as my journalism professor used to say. Follow the dollar. Yeah, it leaves a trail. It leaves tracks. And you know what? Personally, I think it leaves a stench. And I'm not against making money, and I'm not for giving everybody's money away. It's just when we all have some, we're all a lot better off. And you know it too. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That'll be today's Schmuck Look. Peace.